Greetings one and all, Rofters here bring you part 18 of the Byzantine Empire campaign. In last left off, we took England for ourselves, as well as Portugal. And uh, we are wrapping up the last about 29 years of the game left. So I do believe that the game ends at 1454, I believe. So we don't have that much time left. And we also, we are Constantinople 15th of the Byzantine Empire. We are strong. We are a strong person. We are only seven years old. And uh, fortunately for us, well, there's not too much left that we can do. Um, we have a very large empire. It's a, we've been playing for this game for about 221 years. And we've done a fairly decent job at uh, expanding. But, you know, anything else that we'd like to expand left, I was looking around the map. And uh, there's a few people that I'm going to invite to my realm. Like the uh, Prince of Ireland, who has a very strong claim on Ireland and he is not landed. You also have the Prince of Scotland, who um, has also a strong claim and not landed. Good job, AI. And I believe also Sicily, as well, has a claim. This Prince here. And these three fellows will be uh, in our court, ready to pounce and take the throne from, uh, you know, the current rulership. Uh, luckily, also on the map, uh, we have the king of Egypt taking uh, Alexandria from Venice. I think they're doing an okay job. 90% uh, of Venice, in favor of Venice. And so they'll take uh, Alexandria. Which is this nice statue over here. Looks like he's just losing, so we'll just send a bit of money. The King of Trebizoy became Han, Chinese culture. It's uh That happened. That's uh, super interesting. I think it's because the uh guardianship of Trebizoid is a the court physician. Which he's Chinese and he's an historian. So I'm going to have to ask you politely to change both your culture and your religion sometime or later. Also, the province of Britannia, currently left to their own devices when the Roman garrison abandoned the province of Britannia in the 5th century, the Britons can last rejoice. For after suffering through centuries of darkness, Rome rule can finally be restored to the little island and may consider themselves imperial subjects once more. A nice 100 prestige for that. My cousin, who has a weak claim on the visiting empire, is really going to try to claim my throne. Another one? How do you even get a weak claim? Oh, don't die a plague gave you the weak claim. Uh, That's why you shouldn't marry people often in your family. The first host war is now popped up. So we need to go see where he is at. Oh, he's in the middle of nowhere, it seems. So we need to wait for him to come. And let's just raise up a few thousand men in for the defense of the Byzantines. And the second host war is now popped, so... Okay, uh, fine. Oh, there he is, right here. So, I suppose I'll just go care, take care of the first one. This is kind of why being a child isn't exactly the best thing to be. Because that makes it so that anyone with a weak claim can just press for the Byzantine Empire. But hey, we do have 30,000 men. That should be enough to take on the enemy. You're a bit scattered while well, they are not. Though they are scattering themselves, which, you know, just make it a lot easier for me to attack them. Good thing you're abandoning your armies to, to fight this. And the other army is literally... Oh, they're just running away. Like, the cowards they are. Though I can imagine the other host is... Probably getting close. Actually, yeah, it's up in the north. Uh, I have 11,000 Kipul. Why do I even bother having all these kingdom titles if people are not going to give me their armies? There we go. I'm just going to go and uh, castrate you. Our armies will now just descend upon you. A giant hammer waiting to smash all these bloody hosts everywhere. I 
And there we go. Castrate you. Don't ever come back or we'll chop something else that's even more terrible to you. Let's get some more military organization up. They're going to cost us a lot of money, but then we'll have an absurd amount of retinue. And, yeah, definitely going to cost us a lot of money. Let's get town infrastructure up as well. Okay, well, we've got a lot of uh, upgrades done within my own realm. So we spent a lot of money, but we used a lot of it to make more money. So we upgrade a lot of tax offices. And uh, we used to lose, get, lose and let get gregarious. A lovely trait to get. And we do also need to get a new focus, so definitely move on to diplomacy. And diplomacy definitely get, uh, gregarious definitely will get uh, more diplomacy as well. Our sister needs a focus, or make her diplomatic. And there's another uprising. So we'll just march on all these troops and uh, kill the all these peasants that really just don't deserve to, you know, rebel. There we go. You want in on prison, and uh, we'll do the same thing that they were literally doing to everyone who rebels to the Virginia Empire. Garners for age thirteen. Which means hopefully one day we'll become of age and use this opportunity to go and destroy everyone's land and take it for our own. One of these days will happen. Just one of these days. Most of our land it seems is converting. And uh, King of Hungary really should be my religion. Just saying. Thank you. And after 100 years, the Kingdom of Castile and Aragon of de jure drifted to me. Aha! Look at that ugly, ugly border drift. Now it's part of the Byzantine Empire. It'll all become part of the Byzantine Empire one day. One day it will be like that. Be amazing. The Byzantine Empire's spread will continuously move on. I oh, so have 65,000 men. Oh god, that's so much. Which is, we just have an absurd amount of troops. And it's glorious. I've been having these special feelings about someone lately. I just find myself embraced or close with another person. If only I could find myself alone with the carpenter's daughter. The fairy's apprentice, oh, become homosexual. You know, it's, I don't think I've ever really been homosexual before. Maybe like just a few times, but not that often. So why don't we just try it? Try it out. Let's see. False accusations to the Holy Roman Empire. Cain Lustful. After weeks of waiting for the right opportunity, I find myself behind the bar alone with the fairy's apprentice that my heart's been longing for. My humps, palms are sweating and my chest is pounding. And I gain lustful. A secluded cattle. More than just a cattle here. Just a tiny bit more than that. Let's see, how's that war even going for, um... Nope. Uh, so the... Yeah, he lost the war against uh, Venice, King Egypt. That's unfortunately wrong. So unfortunately that is uh, done. So unfortunately we did not get Alexandria. Venice is just too powerful instead. Actually I'll yeah, feel powerful, 20,000 men. Not bad. I have feelings for man at cool. I feel happy and almost in love every time I see men. I try to accept this, but will others accept me? I know, I'll accept another man. There's not actually part of my lovers tab. And we need a new chancellor. I can make not a genius. I mean, you're not really a genius, are you? Yeah. Come on, not genius. You can join my little cabinet. Even though he, like, completely dislikes me. You will not agree with anything I ask for. Well, there we go. 
now of age, we will take a family focus to get some children. And the regency is now ended. And I'm a grey eminence. Ooh, that's super good. Master the full art diplomacy. So I'm now a hugely diplomatic character, which is amazing. So we need to go groom and heir. Uh, we are not married, so probably just use the genetics program to get someone good. So to such an awful genius, I uh, have a 23 year old genius who actually has really good stats. And uh, yeah, I think you'll definitely do. you actually a really good character. You could go for the 17 year old, but I think 23 will do just fine. Okay. So, first off, we need Intrigue. And we need to revoke a few... Well... A few counties so that we can get some people landed within our realm. But do Lesbos. Um, I imagine he's not going to be too happy, but... Uh, it should not really matter. I immediately can threaten him. He's immediately conspir... Uh, He's in a considerable faction against me, so I mean, that's just obvious what we should do. Yeah, so you're going to stay in a faction away from me. And I'm also going to just threaten you with war if you do not comply. If you don't get me your province. I just suppose it's a bit mean. But I really want your land. So you're going to say no, obviously. You just can't take a hint when uh, you're going to lose. That's okay. And we have an option to join Lucifer Zone. Well, just like my father's father, father, father's father, 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 father's father, father's 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 father has before. Voila. Keep joining Lucifer Zone. And my wife is pregnant. It's probably because I'm so lustful. And I think we should win the war anytime soon. He doesn't even have an army out. So he's just going to surrender. So now we have the county of Lesbos. And with this one county, let's go and probably find our first victim. Which would probably be the claimant of Scotland that we have here. So this prince here will give you Lesbos. Thank you. And uh, let's go send our retinue up for the next target. For the next wall. And there we go. So I'm taking the ritual and we join Lucifer's Zone. We're always joining Satan. It just runs in the family now. We just... Always join Satan. We have a new heir. So you have Samuel. Uh, you're not strong nor a genius. <laughs> no. Why does genetics forsake thee? Well. Why have you forsaken thee? What's your name? I yelled it out and everyone was so impressed by that name that decided, you know what? I didn't care enough, so they just said, okay, that's his name. That's his name now. That's what he should be known as. So now the Count and Lesbos will, uh, for sure, join us in our crusade against Scotland. And, uh, of course, like any other wall, we need to make it quick. Quick, quick, quick. So push for this guy here. King Donald the Proud. Well, you'll be King Donald the Usurped any second now. That's your new name. You're going to have to love it. Or you're dead. I mean, you're dead either way, so it doesn't really matter, really. Now, of course, since it's late game, everyone has a level 6 fort, which means uh, I'm just going to have to deal with the fact that we actually have to set out a few, few engagements. They're actually are setting a huge army up against me. So won't we just uh quickly eliminate you? 
So army should be more than enough to take them on. Yeah, there we go. I should have a giant battle. Having a lot of support against us. But of course, there's no match of my Byzantine prowess. We want to desecrate a temple. Sure. Let's go find that temple. I would like to, uh, hey, a temple. Or do nasty things to your temple while we, uh, invade Scotland. Because we're such great people. And the miser always approach the priest to call for help and grab a nearby candle. To arms! Ha! Ah, I didn't die. And I gain burn it all. We don't we don't even need money. And we passed. We kinda actually need Scotland to surrender. If we're gonna win this war quickly. Because we're losing a lot of men to attrition. Unfortunately, uh, Scotland does not support so many troops. But we are 96%, so hopefully we'll win soon. It matters life and death. With age comes wisdom, they say, or at least it may change the question we ask. You might to yourself, we had troubles? Sleeping lately. More than not, while the rest of your court is sound asleep, you find yourself start staring at the ceiling. You're growing, getting older, each day closer to leaving a plain existence. I'm only 18! Why am I thinking about dying so soon? Here's my last one, this. I just want to have sex with my entire life. It is folly to fear such things, of course, so that you cannot keep these feelings at bay. Did you, didn't you used to dream of grander things? About carving your own path? What happened to your ambitions? You sit up straight up your bed, it's ridiculous. You're the ruler, you have people to serve you at any whim. Perhaps your counselors have ideas, if nothing else may help your trouble sleeping. I'm getting content, but some of the council, if I really am that concerned about this. I'm also, I'm in Scotland now. So I really should not be that concerned about this. I did lose large track of my own uh, retinue doing it. But hey, look at that, we are bigger now. A meeting of the minds. Your council convenes on the faces of your visors, peak of confusion. Why are we here, my lord? It comes with a hint of concern. You sit down and suspense is almost tangible. As you leave the question hanging in the air, finally you speak, and without disclosing much of your current not only your restlessness, you convey the message eloquently enough. I want to discuss the concept of life and death, and I want to look an everlasting life, then nod slowly. So what do you think? The spirits rise in the moon as the council start the talk, some hesitantly, some just widely. They all have ideas. So we can use not genius with his 16 diplomacy. Uh, so you have high diplomacy and he will go and uh, try to find the answers for us. Even though I don't think he's that grave uh, guy. And also, oh, he's pregnant. We also probably want to take Ireland next, so we do need another plot to revoke some more counties. So revoke Denna. Get a lot of people to uh, support this. There we go. Who's going to rebel, of course. But you know, he is literally a one count. Oh, actually, how big are you? You have an okay. Levy. But that won't stop you from losing. A subtle touch. As per your orders, your magistrate's not genius has been corresponding with all the important scholarly nobles of the known world. Some of them have been intrigued by the inquiries put forward, others have been skeptical, while others have been outright dismissive. However, a select few have been relying on mysterious rumours from the north, stories about sounding the short of magic. Not genius informs you that one contact in particular is worried about the repercussions that became known that they've been entering these borderline heretic ideas. 
It pains me to say, my lord, but the sword gossip does not come free. Maybe we did map, but I'm not. No, it's just... 2,000 gold? Well, we'll dump it. So we're going to get immortality. Well, we have the chance of getting immortality at the very end of the game. I also have a daughter. Uh, are you going to be princess? Oops. Go learn some heritage. Learn that you needed to become a genius and uh, a son so that I could, you know, use you to win my ambitions. My heart beats faster as Stokes' iron of Dalmatia grabs me for another dance. The hour's getting late, but the man is such a charmer. I must be blushing like a beetroot. How I make my advances. As the festivities wind down, he takes my hand and looks into my eyes. My lord, will he escort me to my chambers? Yes. Have lots of sex. Anyway. A mystic appears. Oh wait, it's not a genius. Your majesty is not a genius is beaming. You know how Count Antone can be, but I made sure that it was my own son who mentioned it. And it was easy for him to seem as his idea in the first place. Well, I'm oh, on board with all the details, he says, clearly excited to have something noteworthy to tell you. When you roll your eyes for the third time, he finally pauses together and skips in the part by the myst mystic woman, agility driving the whole world strange wonders following her footsteps. Oh, master, I think you should leave. Invite her here, he urges. Yes. I'll gain immortality, the one thing I've always really wanted. Oh, else the other thing I really wanted is a county to my name. Uh, what happened to our guy that I caught? Because I didn't invite you. Well, we can still claim Ireland. All we have to do is uh, land as one character here. He'll do it for us. Also, um, so can we get the uh, King of Scotland to be my religion? Thank you. So we have just one Magistros here. And we can claim the entirety of the island as long as we uh, put this guy in charge. He only has a weak claim though, but we'll grant him none either way. Let's see. And it I'm kind of sure retinue. But I think we should be fine since uh, Ireland won't really have that many troops to stand against us. Especially since they're fighting a war against themselves. So yeah, let's go do that. So we'll grant you a title, you're directly under me. And we'll push the claim, declare the war. And we can also call in the Holy Roman Empire, though he did actually—he will probably say yes. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? An intriguing encounter, as you expected—you expected a wicked old crone, but a legend mystic is standing before you is something entirely different. Although she's very different compared to all the other women in the court, no one can deny her that beauty is breathtaking. With a voice as soft as lamb's wool. Tinged with a foreign accent that introduced herself as Edun. You invite her to dine with you, and she's conversing in the most intriguing, if not outright, conversational at times. She claims to hold the secrets of eternal life, immortality, and offers to teach you more if you're willing to accept her quest. While it's important to know that this fair maiden speaks the truth, at least she seemed very experienced before a tender age. But if she's immortal. Well. Eternal life must be in mine. I can imprison her immediately. Yeah, well, no, we'll go inside with Mystic. Let's try and become immortal. Oh, yeah, also in the North Island. So just march down to the capital and uh, take land for ourselves. And of course, the Holy Roman Empire is going to join us as well. My last memory is dream, dreamlike. Lots of smoke crackling. Okay, there's more. So that's sex. A bunch of sex. And lose homosexual. No! My greatest trait is now gone. Also, I need to sacrifice a holy person. I will not. And because it's too much effort. Backup, backup joins you after one supper in the evening. Uh, supper evening. He initiates a conversation about the status of the trade in the realm, but notices that seem to be distraught. 
He demands to know why I sought you out. My dearest half-brother, a few foot in life, he earnestly seizes your hand. Who is the sacrilegious heathen you invited to your court? Her promises are sweet, but I'm certain she'll be trusted. Please, half-brother, allow me to find out your motive. No, you're overreacting. I want to be immortal. Don't stop me. The Fellowship of the Glade. Iden tells you about tell the hidden glade where the ancient pear apple tree grows. The apples are most delicious in the world, but more importantly, anyone who eats them becomes young and new. She offers to help you find the glade, but she warns you that search will not be easy and potentially very dangerous. She urges you to form a fellowship of brave warriors to aid you in a quest. While you could just order some of your soldiers to tag along, she says that they must be fully our loyalty, not only of duty. She suggests that you find a grand feast that speaks before your heart. Uh, grand feast. Oh, well... That's the 2,000 gold. Look, I don't really have money anymore. So please stop. Please, please just stop making me spend all this money. Merry gathering. That it's night of your feast and the wars have come far and wide. The word of my spread quickly that there have been far more guests than expected. Luckily, with Edwin's help, you managed to make room for everyone after... Raiding the stores, there's enough food and wine to go around. The music is jolly, spirits are high, and laughter echoes in your hall. Halfway to the dinner, you stand up and hold your speech. At first you're nervous, but when you further like up the guest's eyes, your confidence rises. You deliver the best and most passionate speech in your life. By the end of it, the crowd stands up, howling and applauding. You look to your right where she is seated, but she's beaming at you. You seem to have your fellowship. Aha! First quest. And the province of Mayuritia. The great Basilius reconquered Manteria from the barbaric vandals in the 6th century, but was eventually lost to Arabs and relentless travel across North Africa. Now that the country's been fully restored in the Roman Empire, the empire might flourish again. I think that means this area here, I believe, that's pretty cool. The Aztec Empire actually does not exist anymore. The Aztec Empire is no longer here. Yep, they're gone. No more Aztecs. No more pesky, pesky Aztecs ruining my my world. Also, let's get some more normal customs to get some more feudal opinion up. We also have a new daughter who's actually strong, but also sickly. So we'll just um we'll just name you successful experiment number one. There we go. You're successful. Congratulations! You'll become a handsome etiquette. My composition has worried about my newborn daughter. Successful experiment number one is a people lost the thing even compared to other infants. Ah! Save my successful experiments. It's the utmost importance that she lives. And she loses just sickly. Little successful experiment number one is much better. She's no, she's just like children her age. Of course, she is a successful experiment. She's like every other human, except she's now successful. Well, as you can see, the Siege of Ireland is going steady. At 78%, we should be able to win. Though, if the rest of the world has something to say about that, they kind of don't want this to happen. But we are 99%, so we should just, uh... Have not yet won a major battle. I mean, I just smashed the entire Irish army, so I mean, you should be surrendering. That doesn't count. What constitutes a successful battle? Besides smashing the army of the person we're trying to take. An obstacle in your path. Ever since Idun announced that the time for the search was nigh, you've been busy with preparations. Your warriors are equipped, the provisions are gathered, and your best horses procured. Yesterday, you set out for your quest. Idun has led your follower fellowship deeper and deeper into the wilderness, the trail which your follow is barely visible in the thick underbrush. But Idun seems certain that this is the right path. The trail begins on the slope outwards. Within a few hours, you're dodging, trudging through a narrow mountain path. The child makes a sharp turn and you pass and you'll spot obstacle off ahead. Where there been rock fall and boulders blocked in path, it didn't insist that the child's only way forward. I'll do the safe option. 
Oh no! You cannot do this without your fierce followers, however, you seem doubtful. You attempt to raise the spirits, live by example. Do you call your draw your attention and proceed to inform them of your plan? While you do so, a decently sized boulder began to shift it. While you attempt to, however, do not make an end, your old companions do not seem convinced you can buckle down and really give it all you got. Embarrassing your efforts are no longer a outcome than a sweaty brown scraped hand, you will help by better voice is less inspiring. Well, that. I mean, I'm, I thought it was strong. Just lame. We well, at least got Ireland to my control. That just makes me sad. Actually, you do have some more enemy armies that are slowly uh, trying to win. Oh, wait, wait. We can also force the mans. So, yep, we went. So now we take an island. Thank you. And uh, more of the empire now comes together as one. Also, I'm just slowly running out of money. I've been spending way too much money on uh, trying to win a lot of walls. The province of Caledonia and the borders of Rome now advance well beyond the ancient ruins of both Hadrian's Wall and the Antone Wall to at least include all of Caledonia. It's a hard and forgetting land is home to a particular breed of people to be turned to productive Roman citizens. Aha! Anyway, let's get the boats ready and sail more back to... here, actually. And we'll finally take uh, Sicily for ourselves. Let's go to the countryside and gain more dark power. Is it enough to actually rank up? Yes, it is. And move my sister to some rabble. No, thank you. Anyway, about have uh, 20 years left, less than 19 years left. And I'll be going going on a very long time with this episode. So I think I'll call it here. And I will see you in the next part. We'll be trying to expand with the last few things we can do next. So I see you then. And goodbye.